Don't you just Don't you love, just love remixes? remixes? Hey, yo, the jury. Yeah. You know you one of the hottest MCs in what? Detroit. You know what I'm saying? If not, you the hottest. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So I want you to let these fools know what you really yo. about. You know what I'm saying? Ferocious, high explosive MCs, the jury folded. Cause the last paper, the nigga that tried to battle me got folded. I shaped and molded my style. While y'all copy it down, pound for pound, the greatest rapper never known until now. Yo, connection, my voice projection. I leave y'all niggas with erections. The soles to the tip of your toes froze with stone cold lyrics. They froze with stone cold lyrics, even though y'all niggas standing on hot coals. More flows than cash, water, or joe. And truth, my domain players came with game, got they toes tagged, bodies back. And Doe is now their last name. I snatched chains off the slave's neck. Instead of chains around your wrist, you switched to Rolex. Made a half a mil and blew the whole check. Of this world, we in the end like Aztecs. Rhyme specialists, devilish presidents, getting they settlements blown. Yeah, resulting lack of residence. Raw talk. Sip coffee and talk that real shit. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Raw Talk. And we have a guest that is not a visitor. She is like family. All right. And um, I'm going to let her introduce herself. How about that? Cause... Hi, I'm Miss Barbie Jamaica. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Miss Barbie Jamaica, hairstylist slash IG model. My hair page is Touch of Barbie, and my IG page slash YouTube is Barbie Jamaica. Nice to meet you guys. And we are going to be doing another interview on her today, so y'all tune in and please look in the description box for her information on how to subscribe to her YouTube page. Um, so y'all fellas and the ladies, please follow her. She's a very multi-talented woman. She's going to be doing a lot of, uh, things on her YouTube page. So, uh, she about to get that cracking. So we got her here today. Just, you know, brushing up because we ain't seen each other in a while. How you been doing? Good. How are you? How's the quarantine with you? <laughs> the quarantine is all right. It's all right. I, I'm kind of, um, how can I say, uh, I'm tired of it. How about that? So what's been going on with you? <laughs> I've been good. I've learned a lot of lessons with what happened in the quarantine. It's taught me a lot. I try to have a better positive outlook on it than negative. I am tired of it, but I mean, it taught me a lot. It really did. Yeah, that's true. I try to, you know what? I'm glad it's, it's funny you said that because I've been really into this, you know, my family been teasing me. I've been really into this Buddha thing. You mm. know what I mean? And trying to find yourself because they teach you basically, if you're not happy with being alone, on right. your own then right. you know what i mean nothing else can please you that's around you right you know what i mean so it th this is a good time to do that and that's what i did so what's what you've been doing during quarantine because i know me i haven't been going out anywhere i mean of course i gotta go to the gas station i gotta go to the store but i literally been getting groceries delivered to me i haven't been in no restaurants i can count on this one hand how many times i've been to a restaurant and I only went because it was a situation where I might have been on a move and I had to go. Right. I haven't traveled anywhere where, you know, um, I'm glad that hopefully this is about to be over with. So like, what have you been doing in the midst of all this mask wearing and getting vaccinated and all that stuff? You know what's crazy? I've been marketing my business a lot better in the quarantine because I don't know, for some reason, people still want to sit at home and look pretty. So mm -hmm. a lot of people are still getting wigs. They, really? they, there were when we, well, New York was different. We weren't like the rest of the states. Our quarantine was really a quarantine. You had to go like under a corner store to do your nails on the low. It was really? closed, closed. You couldn't do your nails. You couldn't do your hair. You know, we had to wear afros, no front. Just it was bad. So when people were ready to get pretty, I was booming. They wanted to feel like. Someone. That's everyone's first response when I do their hair. Oh my God, I feel like me again. Oh my God, I feel awake again. Oh my God, I feel like I have life again. Wow. I so it was this. just, it was really good for me. Like, I can't really complain. I did a lot of wigs. I had tragic things happen to me in the past where it forced me to stay alone for a while to where while the rest of the world was like dying inside, that they were inside, I found so much comfort and solitude like i just i felt better being away from horrible other new yorkers honestly oh that's what's up i respect <laughs> that <laughs> are you were you able to like step up the digital game 
a little because you know like everybody online now like when I scroll through my Facebook I swear like everybody's a preacher everybody selling something everybody and before it wasn't that bad I mean people was doing it but now it's like every time every, you scroll yeah. somebody's doing something online because they was at home were you able to uh, you know step the game up a little bit on that did it did you learn anything on the digital side or you kind of it kind of stayed the same for you as far as selling the wigs and, and things actually like that. it was like a lot more hands-on oh. it was it, it's weird honestly it was more so People needed therapy. We were helping each other in therapy mm -hmm. when we were on, with our one-on-one -on -one sessions getting the hair done. Got you. Okay. I didn't even think of the digital aspect. It's just a normal thing to me to pr promote myself on social platforms, but I also like to have a connection with my customers. Mm -hmm. So that keeps us like together, like where we understand each other so the work comes out better. Mm -hmm. That became different because when we came out of quarantine, the stories I would hear with what was going on in people's household. Everybody got divorced. Everybody I heard broke that. up. I heard Everybody that. found out when they was getting cheated on. So oh my God. I found more so, more, I guess I spoke more with customs more than I ever did before. Right, right. Well, you know what? It's so funny you said that because I guess a lot of people had a lot more time now because they was on unemployment. Oh, yeah. So they had time to search through <laughs> that phone and find out that they, yes, you know what I'm they saying? Yes, they did. Uh, yeah, that, yes, that, they did. Ain't that crazy? Because People was joking about it on social media, but it's actually a real thing. Like some people really got a divorce, some people. I know somebody that got a divorce, you know. And my thing is this, I mean, it's just me, you know what I mean? But during quarantine, I wouldn't want to cheat for the simple fact that what if you get that, that COVID dick? Where you get that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You get that COVID, you know, vagina, you know what I'm saying? It ain't going to be pretty no more, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I don't understand why the big thing with the cheating, because I've seen a lot of people, the cheating thing, I'm like, you would think, okay, let me keep my ass at home. That's just me. I, I Maybe I think different. You... But, but, you, but it seems like more thinking, people ch cheated. You're thinking logically, but I think when people have work that comes into play, you get to spend time apart. So, you get to miss the person for a couple of hours. Gotcha. If you spend a whole month with someone and you never really did that before, just in each other's face, everything, you might learn to know like you really probably ain't really like them like that. Mm. And then that's what happened a lot of the times. Like you got people that you got with that mm -hmm. really can't stay still. And you're still. And they're constantly, and it's just like, oh my God, I'm going to bang my head on the wall. You can't stay still. You got to go.